Okay, we're now going to look at how to draw a stem and leaf diagram. So we've got a set of numbers, 18, 21, 22, 14, 32, 15, and 28. And we're going to draw a stem and leaf diagram, and it's quite useful to draw a stem and leaf diagram as it just, it tell, it's another way of representing the data. So, uh, to draw a stem and leaf diagram, the first thing you need to do is to draw your stem. So you draw your stem, it's a vertical line, and then look at the numbers you're dealing with, okay? So we've got 18, 21, 22, 14, 32, 15, and 28. The smallest one is 14, the largest one is 32. So uh, usually in the stem you put the tens, if it's numbers in the tens. If you've got hundreds, you would want to put sort of hundreds and tens in the, in the stem and put your units on the side. Uh, we're going to put 10, 20, and 30. So the first, these numbers are representing the tens. So um, so you've got one, two, and your three. If there's a number in the four days, you'd put a four here. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an unordered, an unordered stem leaf diagram first of all. So we're just going to put these numbers into the stem leaf diagram and then we'll draw it again and we'll order it. Okay. So uh, the first number here is 18. So we're going to put an eight in the where the one is to make 18. Uh, we've got 21. So we're going to put one in the twenties row. We've got 22, so we're going to put a 2 in the 20s row. So if you just check, you've got 18, 21, 22. The next number, so we've done that one, we've done that one, is 14. So we're going to put a 4 in the 10s um, row. We've got 32, so we're going to put a 2 in the 30s row. We've got 15, so we'll put a 5 in the, t in the 10s row. And we've got 28, so we'll put an 8 in the 20s row. Now, this is unordered, so now we've got to draw ordered stem leaf diagram. So we'll draw another vertical line, and we'll put one, two, three. And now we're just going to order these numbers. So four is the smallest, then five, and then eight. So we'll do four, five, and eight. One, two, eight. Well, that's already in order. One, two, and eight. And two for your 32. We're almost finished. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to draw a key. A key just tells the person how to read it. So we know that it's 14, 15, 18, 21, 22, 28, and 32 by looking at it. But what you normally do is you look at the first number, so that's 14. What you do is you do a key. One line four means 14. So then the person looking at it can just say, okay, so one slash four means 14. Okay, uh, and that's it. You've drawn your stem and leaf diagram. Okay, so you've got your stem, which is the tens, so you know, 18 to, you know, so you've got the one, 20s, 30s, and then you get each one of the leaves, so it represents a number.